Hey, well, YouTube, what is happening? We got a video review today on these four chest rigs, chest bags. Um, I had a hard time deciding which one to buy, so I bought four. <laughs> and hopefully this will help you make a good decision on which one to buy and which one is right for you. So we're going to start um, talking about the 511 Skyweight. And then I've got the Helicon Tex Nam Nambat, I believe it's called. They help people get a recon. And I think it's called Faye. I'll put it in the description. Faye. Fay way or something gear off Amazon, cheap kind of knockoff one. Um, and just kind of compare all four and see which one works best for my intended purposes. And yeah, we'll get into it. Stay tuned. All right, so here is the 511 bag all loaded up. Shut my door. Um, on the bottom, that does have those that like those webbing or straps there. Uh, I have a half face blades uh, Cav Junior faulty clip. Kind of mounted there, it's really nice. When this is on your chest, you can easily grab that knife out, which is cool. Uh, front pocket up here, I don't have anything in it right now. It's kind of a loose pocket, so just whatever, snacks or something in there. In this pocket in the front, I've got a chit kit. You know why, in case you're in the woods and you're shooting. Um, some band-aids, uh, basic boo-boo kit, some anti-itch um, anti, um, cream and stuff like that. So your basic boo-boo kit, and then I've got a Hydro Blue Water Straw. So if I need to have some filter water, I can have that. So that goes in the front there. And in the middle pocket, I've got, um, so this has got a great organization, which I really like. Got some 550 cord, that's the fire cord, so I can use this as fire starting as well. I've got some other fire starting stuff here. And I've got a whistle, a, uh, SOL whistle there, Husky whistle, a ferro rod and a lamp, uh, both Exotech, uh, Exotech fire sleeve and a ferro rod, in case I need to make fire. Compass in that little pocket. I've got a um, some medical items, chest seal, sea locks, and a SWAT tourniquet. SWAT tourniquet is actually really good for a pressure bandage also. Then I've got a TAC tourniquet just kind of hanging on top so it's easy access. Um, I tried putting it in these pockets. It doesn't really fit standing up. I'll show you what I mean. But if you had a soft TV wide or something that was a little shorter, it might, but it's just kind of, it was just easier to throw it on top. So that's what I did. And then the back with the pull tab, got the MNP 10 millimeter, um, barely fits. It's very snug. In fact, it's not even in a holster right now, which I don't love. I do have a um, spare magazine in the spare and these little plastic bands there. Um, I could try to move that maybe up here, but I like it. I don't know closer to the gun if I'm drawing the gun. The spare mag will be right there as well. But it's a it's a really tight fit, like the gun barely fits. And it's a pretty good sized gun. It's the 4.6 inch barrel. Um, so it is pretty big, but it barely fits, but it does fit. So, so, so far the 511 bag is a great choice because it does meet all of my needs. Um, and I do love that it has the fast pull tab there and the organization is really nice on this. Um, and then the harness is pretty much the same on all the bags essentially. The one thing I will say is on the 511, it's not very easy to adjust while on your body. Um, whereas the Hill People gear is super easy to adjust while on your body. But overall, I like the organization better in the 511. I like this area down here for a knife. I like, just like I said, the organization is a lot better. Um, you would, you could get something like that with the the um, Hill People, but you have to pay extra for the. So I got the Recon bag. It's a little less expensive. You have to go to the full kit bag or the. Um, I don't remember all their other models. They have another model that's like the Recon sort of that's a little bigger, and you'd have to buy that. And then you're gonna be up in the $140 range, I think. So this guy is 60 bucks. Pretty good deal. Now it's not made in the US like the Hill people though, so that you're gonna have that difference, obviously. Um I think most of 511 stuff is made in Vietnam though, not made in China. Let's see what it says here actually. It doesn't say. Oh yeah, made in Vietnam, like I saw. So made in Vietnam, not made in China. That'll make some people happy. Some people will say, what's the difference? But anyway, that is the 511 all loaded out with all the kit. All right, so next up is the Feywood Gear chest pack off of Amazon, about under 40 bucks, I believe. I'll double check and put links in the description. So it's a little bit bigger than the 511 and closer in size, I would say, to the Hill People. Actually, the Hill People is a lot slimmer, but width wise. Um, Coyote Brown, like I said, same kind of harness. Um, haven't tried on yet to adjust it. We'll see how that goes on person. But the main back part in it here 
that the gun was at is quite a bit larger. It's all uh, all Velcro back here, and you got some of this nice padding right here. And it does come with one of their generic holsters, which I would probably ditch for something else. But it does fit that nicely in a nice angle, and there's a little bit more space, so I do like that. We also have this uh, Velcro panel here that you can add big organizers to, like. like this so you can have a little bit more organization even if you wanted to um, and then you have um, pockets up here two large pockets here and then four small pockets here and then elastic band uh, webbing here two large four small and then you've got an internal pocket here so you've got a lot of space in this guy plus you have an external one on the outside along with a little bit of molly uh, laser mod if you want to put stuff on there. So you've got some pocket right here. And then you've got a similar to the 511 shot cord on the bottom. Actually larger, so you could fit a tourniquet under there. It looks like. Yeah, I bet I could easily get a cat tourniquet under there. So I could keep my tourniquet on the outside. Um, but I like having the knife down there. So I may just run that like I did on the 511. So, But all the stuff that was in the 511 is going to go into here now. Okay, so the Feywood is all loaded out. You can see... Oh, my microphone. Um, you can see I got the knife under there. I could actually put it more flush under there, but it's easy access right there and it clipped right on. Nothing in the front pocket. Um, again, snacks, some quick, easy, accessible. Uh, I'll talk about the main compartment here. The zippers on this are actually really nice, to be honest. Um, so the organization is great. So I was able to just slap my tourniquet on there because it's, it's Velcro, so it just chills there, which is great. And then if I still want to add one of these panels, I can do that and have more organization there. So I really like that feature. Uh, in the elastic bands, I've got my fire starters, my cordage, same stuff, the straw, the water, the fil water filter, the exo, the fire rod, fire attack, whistle, got my other medical here, um, compass, and then in this back pocket that does zip close, I've got the booby kit and the shit kit. So uh, everything there. And then in the very back, is the concealed carry part. Now, on this one, there's no there's no quick pull tab. So, so far, the only one that has that is the 511. You just have to use the zippers. But, again, there is more space. I've got a holster in there and a spare mag in it, its own holster as well. So, um, you know, surprisingly for the money, this one, the organization and the layout and the size is great. Um, Comfort-wise, we're going to rate that separately once they're on. you got to be kidding me right now. I just realized this is recording in the wrong format, but all right. We'll see if we can flip it. If not, we'll record it. Um, we'll see how the comfort wise is comparable, but this is more about the stuff that fits in here and organization. It is a little bit bigger as well. Um, but yeah, so far, that's a pretty good option for the price. All right, show you what this looks like. Actually, out of the box, it fits like perfectly. I haven't had to adjust it. Oh, I just did though on accident. So that's cool. Um, but I didn't really have to out of the box. Adjust easily on person. Easier than the 511. Um, I don't want to have it too high, you know, so I can easily get to this. The zippers are pretty fluid, so I don't, they don't really hang up when you draw, which is nice. Maybe a little bit right there. But I think that's, if I'm hitting the, the back rear sight, so I can just adjust that down a little bit. I don't do that. Again, no quick pull tab. One thing I do like though, when you open this up, this lays flat. There is, like I said, a Hill People Gear pack that does this as well, but it's a lot more expensive. So I didn't buy that one. Now notice my tourniquet kind of came undone and fell forward because that the only part is Velcro. Um, I can fix that and I have a, a Velcro, like a tourniquet holder as well, so that can be utilized. But still have all that extra space there I haven't utilized even. And then um, all this stuff is easily accessible here in front of me, which is nice. And if you were gonna make this into like a fishing type kit, um, which you totally could, then you'd have like this thing that lays out in front of you, you do your flies or, you know, your hook, your, your bait, whatever. Really cool. So pretty good, pretty good deal for the money. Not going to lie. We'll see how the quality holds up, but on the outside, it feels pretty good quality. Um, I did notice in some of the stitching in here on these rubber bands looked a little sus, um, but not bad, especially for the money. There's shrink wrap on the zippers. It's comfortable. It's got a very similar harness to all the other bags. I think they just kind of copy each other. So for the money, this is not a bad choice.
All right, so the hill people here, you can see I've got some pouches on the outside um, on the Molly. Really the only way I can make this pack work the way I want it to. Um, <clears throat> wasn't aware, and this is my bad for buying the wrong one, but this is the Recon, and I thought it had an, a third pocket. I thought it had a concealed carry pocket and then an additional pocket plus the outside pocket. It does not. So all you get on this one is a front zipper pocket, which I can fit some items in there. I've got my fire starting things, the water filter and the compass, um, but everything else, medical, everything else I wanna have in there, I have to carry on the outside with pouches, which kind of takes away from like, I don't know. It works, but it's not ideal for me. However, the Hill People Gear product itself is extremely well made. Like um, the concealed carry pocket's plenty big for the M P 10 millimeter. This is again the 4.6 barrel, so it's the, look, the bigger guy. And it works great for that. Comfort wise, very nice. It's easy to adjust on your body. Um, so everything about it is good quality. It is the most expensive pack of them all at about 110. I think to get what I wanted, I have to spend about 140 um, on their standard kit bag, which was out of stock. So I really thought, I thought the only difference was had Molly on the front. That's my bad. This is a more slimline version, which if you were just trying to carry a gun on the trail, like let's say for example, you had a backpack on, had all your stuff in your bag, and you just wanted to carry a gun on the front, this is perfect because it's got it's slimline, and then, yeah, if you want to attach stuff on the outside, like if I took up one of these pouches, I could attach my knife really easily. Um, so if I wasn't carrying more gear, then this would work pretty well for me. Um, but I'm not always like gonna throw a backpack on. Like if I'm at or my wife's cabin, I'm gonna go fishing on the property. I need to be conscious of, um, it's up in Wyoming, close to Yellowstone. There's bears, we've seen many tracks. And I wanna just, but I don't wanna carry a whole backpack with me. Like I just like having this on my chest, you know what I mean? And then having, if I fish, I can put my fishing gear in it. So the layout of this is just isn't gonna work, I don't think for my intended use. But I think it is a really good product and I do want to check out the regular kit bag because I think it actually might be a good choice for this. So either way, it's high quality, made in the USA. It's legendary as far as chest packs go. Um, they have lots of different options and variations. They're just never in stock, that's the problem. <laughs> um, and this one was in stock, so I rolled the dice and unfortunately it's really not going to work for me. So yeah. All right, our last option is this one that just came in. This is the Helicon Tex. Um, I think they call it the, it's really got the tag on it, um, Noombat. This is a highly regarded chest rig as well. It's got some good reviews on YouTube on it. And it actually looks a lot like the Amazon one. Um, I call it the Amazon one because it's, you know, not a name brand. Um, very similar design. I'm thinking that they maybe copied them a little bit. These guys copied them is what I mean. Um, yeah, it's almost a dead copy actually. <laughs> so there you go, that's Amazon for you. But, oddly enough, this one is, is, yeah, so it's really nice quality, well made. Um, really impressed with it, but one thing I was disappointed with is there's only one pocket. So you just open this up, there's no back area for your concealed carry. What it is, this is flap right here. And then you're supposed to just attach your holster there. So, um, and it does, has this cool feature of a map pocket, which is nice. I'm gonna throw a map in there, but I don't like that there's not a separate compartment. I would, I would rather, and I think storage wise, this is gonna fit the build for me. It has a lot of uh, storage options here, um, here as well, a bunch of pockets, as well as an internal zip pocket. And then this front area actually is pocket two. This is covered with flaps. You can stick things in there and they would stay dry. Um, and it has the bottom shot cord, easy for the knife. So it would work really well if it had that other pocket, but really it just has this, so. I have to put my holster in there, and then when I open this, even if I want to get to other things that I'm not necessarily going for my firearm, it's gonna kind of be there, flap open, yeah. So, it's unfortunately like, it's, it's I thought it was like the other one, and the 511 where it had that back pocket, which it does not. So, this one's the second most expensive of the Mark too. These are about 75 to 80 bucks. I think I paid a little bit more than that, because. They were just not found in stock, and it shipped from Germany, I believe, or Poland. Um, Poland. Shipped from Poland, so they're made in Poland, and it shipped from Poland. Um, 
I don't know if there's any US distributors, but you can see it does fit the MP10 really nicely. But the problem is, you know, when you open it, I mean, I guess that kind of conceals it, but it could just flop down. And then if you don't want to expose that, you don't have that option. So it would be a good like bushcraft style chest pack, which is actually what it's designed to do. But one of the guys I did a review on, he was talking about how he carries his firearms and stuff. I didn't really show how, um, that's how it works. And it, there is no additional pocket. So you, you can remove this too, if you wanted to, but it's the only thing really concealing this when it's open. And again, it kind of flops down. Uh, it has the shock bar to hold it in place and it, it works decently, right? So you can't, it kind of conceals it. So I don't know. It is slimline. I like the size of it though. Um, but I just like having that additional pocket back, but just, just for the concealed carry. So this is probably a no-go. I will say it is comfortable and it's easy to adjust on the body, unlike the 511, which was my only downside of the 511 really. And the 511 didn't have a big enough pocket. So the search may continue or I might end up just going with the Amazon one because it honestly fits the bill in a lot of ways because it has a similar layout to this one, but they did add that additional pocket in the back. So you have that separate pocket, you have this panel to put organizational things on. And yeah, I mean, this actually might be the one I end up going with and it's the least expensive. So kind of funny. I think it'll work best for my situation. So. All right, so here's the Helicon on the chest. It's a nice little bulge right here for my medical. Um, it's comfortable for sure. Like I said, easy adjustments right here. Yeah. Maybe not. No, actually not very easy on the body. Yeah, it kind of gets stuck. So um, this is not a bad fit right here though. But again, just the one pocket. So if I want to get into it, I got it. I can reach behind here and get that pretty easily accessed. But like, let's say I'm on trail and I want to open this up. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I have a tag on it. Um, it's going to pop open. You're just going to see the firearm. So I guess if you don't care if people see that or, you know, I just kind of like the idea of having it a little bit more concealed. So, otherwise, great pack. Um, just don't think it's going to work for my purpose. All right, guys. So it came down to these two. The, what's the brand on this one? Faye Wood Gear <laughs> off Amazon. I think it's like 38 bucks versus the 511 Skyweight, which is 60 bucks. Made in China, made in Vietnam. Overall, I'm gonna go with 511, not because of the China thing, but because it's a little bit more slim line on the chest, which I like. It holds everything I need it to. It has a quick pull tab, was one of the biggest things, this quick pull tab to get to your firearm with this separate concealed carry pocket. Even though the pocket's a little smaller than I'd like, I wish it was just a tad bit bigger. Um, I do like that it still fits what I need it to fit and I can get to it quickly. And yeah, I really like this one, especially for the money, 60 bucks. Like it's half the cost of the Hill People gear. I know that's made in the US versus Vietnam, which I don't think is half the cost, but it's well designed. Um, it has, this was another feature I really liked having this on the bottom for uh, my, my fixed blade was really a cool feature. Um, this little stash pocket in the front, you know, for just small snacks or items like that. Plus you have the zipper pocket here. The organization overall was just a lot better on the 511 than most of the bags. Um, the one thing I did really like about the Helicon Tex and the Feywood gear was the, how it opened up flat and had like a, almost a table. But this, kind of does that it kind of opens to there on your chest so it has a similar functionality but it just had a better all organization inside so and then you have these little zipper pockets as well plus the concealed carrier pocket and then the harness was pretty much the same on all of them really it was not a big difference there i like the aesthetics of this one a little better too it just looks um a little i don't know less tat i mean it's kind of funny to say 511 looks less tactical but it does it just looks a little more like I mean, most, no one's going to walk around with a chest pack anyway, <laughs> outside of the woods, I would hope, but, um, maybe they will, but it, I just like the aesthetics of it. The price was good. Had this pull, quick pull tab, had this uh, feature, plus it fit all the gear I needed to in a small package. It's, it's a good option. So that's the one I decided to go with guys. Um, I do want to check out the Hill People gear 
um, st I think it's just their standard kit bag, which may be a little better, but it's double the cost, so I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger. This is not something that I'm gonna use often. It's going to be something that I take when I go camping, which I mean is actually pretty often, but sometimes I'll just carry on my hip and not worry about a chest pack, I don't know. So it's not gonna be like a commonly used thing, um, mostly for when I go up um, outdoors where, I'm, where I think I need the, the 10 mil versus the nine mil kind of situation. Um, plus I'll probably throw some fishing gear and stuff in here. And, you know, when I want to go fishing, I'll have that all the accessible. Um, uh, other things I'm going to add is that I have a headlamp. I just didn't put it in for the video. I definitely want to have that on here. Um, as well as a multi-tool. And I've got one chilling somewhere that I can throw in here. So just a couple extra items to add to the bag and I'll be good to go. Thanks for watching the video. I don't know why this is so dusty. It's weird. But it's just been, maybe it's my counter here that I need to dust off. Um, but yeah, it's, that's the one to go with. And it's for 60 bucks guys. That's a great deal. Um, really, really good deal. So check it out. I don't have any affiliates with 511, but I'll put a link in the description for their store. I don't think they sell it on Amazon yet, but if they do, I'll add an Amazon link so you can support the channel that way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.